Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimei and Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan since they elect. This is a brother Makaza from a Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And this name of this lesson will be Lord, Lord. All right, because that is what a lot of people are going to say in that time Lord, Lord. But the Lord ain't going to hear you. All right? You know, so I was watching, you know, these, these buffoons from on, you know, elders of of Israel and they this I never thought the day would have come when I heard somebody preach more garbage than the Christian church. And they took the record, they took they took the crown with speaking utter idiocy. Alright? These so called elders of Israel. He is the most bunch of garbage I ever heard in my life. Everything is the word. Everything is the spirit. Everything is 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 the commandments. Like wow, All right? We never been in Egypt. Moses never sprinkled the blood. That was that was spiritual blood. When the scriptures talk about the clouds as the chariots, the clouds talking about the 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 the, the um. The prophets, dragons talking about prophets. I like I like wow. I like these these men will just give you a headache. Alright? But in their mind they're thinking they're doing the Lord's work. They really think kill them dead, they're really doing the Lord's work. As the scripture says, the time comes when they that kill you will think they're doing the Lord's work. And when the Lord comes, they're gonna say, Lord, Lord. But guess what? The Lord don't want to hear you in that time. He wouldn't want to hear you're gonna be destroyed because you're not doing his will. As the scripture said, if they speak not according to this word, not because you just bring out precepts, mean that you speak and according to this word. You have to speak according to the doctrine. Alright? You have to speak according to the doctrine. Matthew 7 and verse 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. It says, But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say unto me that the Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, he that work iniquity. So the Lord going to say he don't know you. Alright? This as the scripture said, at the time of ignorance, the Lord winked. He ain't winking right now. You have no cloak for your sin. You have no reason to not understand and know this word. And if you don't know it, then guess what? You're predestined for destruction. All right? A lot of you men, you just want to come up, Johnny, come lately and just want to do your own thing to start your own foundation to get fame. This is not what it's about. This is about waking up the elect. Ain't about you. Ain't about me. It's about Yahweh Shai. All right? Isaiah 2 and verse 17 I believe it's 17, it said, The Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. You men out here just looking for fear. You, you, you making mincemeat out of the scriptures. Mincemeat out of the scriptures. And you know it. Alright? And you're going to say, Lord, Lord. But the Lord going to destroy you in that time to come. And anybody that out here teaching anywhere what doctrine, the Lord going to destroy you. He don't want to hear you in that day. Alright? He ain't going to want to hear you in that day. This is Romans chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, For the wrath of Yahabah Shemiah Shai is revealed from heaven. How? From the nuclear missiles and from the chariots bringing those fire. Alright? It says, The wrath of Yahabah Shemiah Shai is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You holding this word in unrighteousness. Alright? You, you rest in the words of the Lord. As the scripture says, the same they do unto, or unto the Moses and the prophets, unto their own destruction. So you add it unto the scriptures and the Lord going to add that pain. He's going to add that hurting. He's going to destroy you because you destroy, you basically you destroying his words. All right? And you scatter in Jeremiah 23. You scatter in the flock. All right? You scatter in the flock. And the Lord, Yahabah, Hashem, Yahushai, he ain't going to take that lightly. All right, he's not gonna take that lightly. He's coming to destroy all you men that preach in where what doctrine and the scriptures talk about them that in the strange perils. All right, you're not clothed in this doctrine and truth. The Lord, Yahabah, Shemel Shai, he's gonna destroy you. 
all right he don't want to hear lord lord in that day you and you people you really think you're doing the lord's work and you're not if you're not calling upon the name Yahaba Shimia Shai, you're not doing his will. If you if you don't believe the MOTB is the the um is the karagma or the, the micro, the Lord not dealing with you, you're not doing the Lord's work. If you believe that all people can be saved and salvation is not exclusively for the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the house of Israel, you're not doing the Lord's will. Alright? If you're not done with the doctrine that the men of great millstone beginning with the apostles teach, you are not doing the Lord's work. So therefore, when you say Lord, Lord in that day, he will not hear you. He will not smile upon you. You will be destroyed. You will be destroyed because you're holding the truth in unrighteousness. Alright? You're holding the truth in unrighteousness. This is Second Timothy chapter 3. And verse 13, it says, But even men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And that is what happened. You waxing worse and worse. Never thought I would have seen the day where somebody preached more crap than the Christians. All right? They're just waxing worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. You're being deceived. Because the Lord selling them unclean spirits to deceive you. All right, it's so mind-boggling that that is that that wow, like the the, the 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 BS that you men be teaching. You teaching that you're not supposed to keep the Passover. The Passover was symbolic. Once you in this truth, you are you you passed over. And like wow, and the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is 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 the word. It's like what, dude? Yeah. <sighs> The Lord gonna destroy all you men. Alright? He's gonna destroy all you men. Alright? All you gonna be destroyed. It's the final precept here. This is Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, And for this cause, Yahaba Shemiel Shai shall send them strong delusion. He gonna make you go bugging. Alright? That they should believe a lie and you believe in a lie. And even them in your congregation, they be blind leaders of the blind. And both of you are going to fall into a ditch. Alright? says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. So if you don't believe the truth, the Lord is going to make you fall into condemnation by believing wayward doctrines. Alright? Who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, you people have pleasure in unrighteousness. So the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahshai, He coming to destroy you. All right, because you're not thinking for one second that hey, what we doing here? It ain't make sense. It not adding up. It not adding up. But guess what? You have pleasure in it. Why? Because you getting that attention. You getting a a, a a a cult following. So you love it. You love the chief seat. Well, guess what? You're going to be destroyed because of it. All right? You're going to be destroyed because of it. This is the final precept here. This is um, Revelation chapter 22, um, verse 11. It says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. It says, be, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So guess what? The Lord is going to give you according to your work. And they're going to be destroyed. Fire and, fire and worms, as Judith said. Fire and worms. You people are going to be destroyed. All right? That hole in the word, the truth in unrighteousness. The Lord, Yahaba, Hashem, is going to destroy you for distorting the doctrine. You're not playing with that. All right? He not play with that all right and they say no when the lord in my malachi one when he said he's gonna destroy esau mountain and his heritage where you people say that the mountain is his congregation and the heritage is his doctrine hey you you people you people gonna be destroyed may the lord yahaba shimmy shai send swift destruction upon you all you wicked israelites that out here twisting the doctrine may the lord yahaba shimmy shai destroy you Right, and with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. 
I give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do real well. Salutations to the men of the Hopeland, Sensei Lek. This is Makazar from the Trinidad Camp saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.